So good morning and a very warm welcome to our Christmas is approaching service. So with song, story, craft and prayers, we're going to begin to look forward to Christmas and the wonderful message that it brings to the whole world. So let's begin with a simple prayer that we can all join in with. And all you have to do is echo the lines that I say and then we'll all say Amen together. So here goes. Thank you God for sending your son Jesus. Thank you God for sending your son Jesus. Who was born as we are and grew up as we do. Who was born as we are and grew up as we do. Thank you for the message of hope that he taught. Thank you for the message of hope that he taught. Help us to learn from him about loving one another. Help us to learn from him about loving one another. And remember his promise to be with us always. And remember his promise to be with us always. Amen. Amen. Great, so now it's time for a song. This one's written by John Hardwick, a children's minister, and both he and I are going to show you the actions that go with the chorus. In fact, what we'll do is we'll play the chorus slowly once through in order for you to hear it and learn it. And then away we'll go. And it's called A Band of Angels. Having a party in the sky. A band of angels singing and dancing. Having a great time. I wonder why. A load of lads, a cold, cold night. An angel came down and gave them all a fright. The sheep went. The ship had went white Then they saw an amazing sight A band of angels Singing and dancing Having a party In the sky A band of angels Singing and dancing Having a great time I wonder why The angel said Now don't be afraid Have I news for you The saviour is born This is what to do In David's town You'll find him there Lying in the manger Without a care A band of angels Singing and dancing Having a party In the sky a band, of angels, a band of angels singing and dancing, singing and dancing having, a great time. having a great time. I wonder why. I wonder why. The shepherds left without delay and found baby Jesus lying in the hay. They worshipped him and were full of joy. Just they had been invited to. This special boy, a band of angels, singing and dancing, having a party in the sky. A band of angels, singing and dancing, having a great time. I wonder why. A bunch, a bunch of shepherds had had a bad fight, but what a great night it had become. A bunch of shepherds 
had had a bad fright But what a great night A band of angels Singing and dancing Having a party In the sky A band of angels Singing and dancing Having a great time We all know why I'm going to tell you a story and my friend Seamus here um, asked if he could sit in on it so I said yeah of course you can Seamus says he's very interested in hope because he has hopes of his own go on then Seamus tell us tell us one of those hopes he hopes one day to be the one who's telling the story well, you'll just have to, be, have to be patient, Seamus. Anyway, to the story. This is the story of Yachal, known by his family and friends as Al for short. The name Yachal means hope in the language of his people. So Al often needed a rest. He needed a rest because he had to work very hard in his family's business, which was rearing sheep to sell for wool and meat at the market. Most people liked Yachal, that's Al for short, except for one thing. Al was very impatient. He did not like to have to wait for anything. And he was certainly getting impatient to be a proper shepherd. But his father had said, not yet, maybe soon. Now Al did not understand this. After all, he had been taught all the skills needed to be a good shepherd. He had been taught by his father how to make sure the sheep were fed and watered. He had been taught long ago by his mother how to be kind to the sheep so that they were unafraid and cooperated. And his older brother had taught Al how to build a pen out of stones to keep the flock safe. Al also knew how to shear the sheep of their wool without hurting them. And he was a dap hand at building a camp when they had to stay out all night to protect the lambs. Now it was on such a night as this that Al had an amazing experience, something that helped teach him how to be patient and made him very proud of his own name. After setting up camp one night, the shepherds were telling each other stories. One told of a long ago shepherd boy named David, who had de defeated a giant well-armed soldier called Goliath. And he'd done that with just a catapult and a prayer. That David had later become a mighty, to become a mighty king. Another shepherd told the tale of how a future king was promised by God, one who would be even greater than David and would bring peace on the earth and hope to all the people. Al jumped up excitedly saying, that's my name, my name means hope. Whilst everyone was laughing at this, an unusual thing happened. The glow of their campfire seemed to rise up and fill the sky and there was the sound of singing kind of behind the light and then a voice was heard from well who knows where but the shepherds were becoming quite scared now when the voice calmed them down saying don't be afraid just go down into the town and visit a child who has been born the baby is a descendant of the great shepherd king david whose story you told well, the shepherds felt a little confused, but they did just what the messenger had told them. And they found this baby who had just been born. When Al saw the baby, his heart leapt inside of him 
and he felt full of hope for the future. Well, that's the end of the story, uh, except to say two final things. Firstly, you might remember earlier, I said that Al learnt patience that night, and he did because actually he had to wait another 30 years until that newborn baby grew up into a man before he knew exactly what hope that night had brought. And secondly, you'll be glad to hear that Al didn't have to wait too long before his dad made him a full and proper shepherd of the family sheep. Okay, Seamus, so do you want to give a nod of goodbye? And I'll hand you back to Heather. So what a lovely story that was based on what happened to the shepherds, as we know from the Bible. And the sky must have been so bright that night from the angel glow and also, of course, from the new star shining over Bethlehem. So I'm going to start by showing you a couple of simple craft activities that you can make with stars for children of all ages. And if you want templates, then you can download them from the website and just click on the kids area link at the top of the home page. So these are the templates. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to make a star decoration. And this is very simple and great to do, particularly with, with young children. So first of all, you download the template of the, of the star, the bigger star like that. You then get some paints and with different colour paints, using your fingers, you can just put the different colours onto the different parts of the star and then leave that to dry. And if you do that on two, so if you download two of them, you can do that on two of them because then after they're dry, you can cut them out like that. But of course, yours will be beautifully decorated now. And then on the back, you can just paint that in any or or use colours or, you know, you can use crayons or felt tip pens or pencils if you want to. And just colour that on the back. Then you just need to take your two cut out templates and attach them together. And I used these little um, kind of do double sided sticky pads that will just raise it slightly so it stops the shapes from being flat directly on, on one another. So it just gives them a little bit more dimension. So you stick them together very simply just by putting them at angles to each other like that. And then the sticky pads just go there in the middle. So very, very simple, but obviously you've cut out both those pieces. And then if you want to, you can then add a little bit of glitter on there. If you just pop a little bit of glue, sprinkle the glitter and then shake it off over a piece of paper. And then a little hole with a hole punch or if you haven't got a hole punch, just very carefully get an adult to help you put a, pair, a, put a hole into the top there with a pair of scissors. And then thread it with your choice of ribbon or string, whatever you want. And that makes a beautiful decoration. And I've put a little extra stick on star right in the middle just to give it even a little bit more sparkle. But I'm sure that will look great on your tree or even just hanging from a ceiling or a light somewhere. So the other craft that we've got for you, again, with a nice shining star on it, is this card. And this is, this actually says on it, 
Star of Wonder, Star of Night, Star with Royal Beauty Bright. So I hope you can see that okay. Can you see that nicely? So there we are. So you get download the template that looks like this, which then means that you can fold it in half on an A4 piece of card. It doesn't have to be terribly thick card, but you can fold it like that. And that, of course, is the template for your card. Now, you, if you've only got white card, that's absolutely fine. I chose to put through the printer this piece of lilac card, but it really doesn't matter. So, when you've got your basic card like that, you want to decide how you're going to decorate it. Now, I just um, painted mine down the different sections and the different segments. And then I painted a second one. So you need to cut out a second template from this very same star because that is going to go over it like that. And I painted the different segments so that they matched up. But of course, you don't have to do that. You might want to do something totally different. But I painted that and then put a little bit of glitter around the edges little bit of glue sprinkled glitter over the over the top of that and then when they were dry again using those raised 3d uh, sticky pads put that in the middle to make it to look 3d then there's also some words downloaded as a template so you can just download them or you can print off words that you would like of your that suit you you might just want to put happy christmas rather than use those words from the carol and then i've just raised them up again by putting little sticky pads underneath underneath there and I just used, I just framed it with a couple of odd pieces of paper and card that I had and cut them out so that the bottom piece sticks flat on the card, but then between the words and the next piece of paper, it, it's raised up to give it that 3D look. So I hope that you're able to do that and you have some fun doing that. So just before I finish with your craft activities, let's just say a prayer to do with stars. So as we think about the beautiful star over the crib at Bethlehem, we pray that people will find the light of Jesus this Christmas. That there will be a light in the darkness. That there will be a light to the lonely. There will be a light to the sad and to the sick. A light to the worried and to the lost. Thank you, Jesus, for your beautiful, bright light. Amen. Amen. It was on a starry night When the hills were bright Earthly sleeping, sleeping calm and still then in a cattle shed, in a manger bed, a boy was born, king of all the world. 
soon the shepherds came that way. We hope that you've enjoyed our Christmas is approaching service and you can find the details on our website of all the other services and events that we've got going on over the Christmas period. So let's now say together the Lord's Prayer as we finish. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And a final blessing as we go. May the joy of the angels and the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. In the name of Christ. Amen.